guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be on this makeup look, which has been like my go-to everyday winter makeup routine. I know that it looks super glamorous with the eyeshadow, but I don't wear this eyeshadow look every single day. Uh, but I, I have been wearing it a lot lately because it's super easy, even though it looks like really glamorous. But this is basically like my current favorite foundation routine. And with the eyes, sometimes I'll wear this exact eye look like with the lashes, but no eyeshadow. Sometimes I'll just do like winged liner. Sometimes I'll just do one shadow in the crease. But for the most part, this has been like my go-to look, like basically, you know what I mean? The eyeshadow switches up, but for the most part, everything else is the same. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'll leave everything that I mentioned down below if you're interested. And by the way, if you're curious, my shirt is from TJ Maxx. I literally just got it yesterday, so it should still be there. It was like 10 bucks, so I love it. So in case you're wondering, I feel like it goes really good with the makeup today. Anyways, I hope you guys like the video, and let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys! So starting off with my BHHD brow pencil in the shade Brunette, I'm just going to be outlining my eyebrow. I've been doing this a lot lately and I've been loving this pencil. It reminds me so much of the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Definer. It's basically, honestly, the same exact thing. So I love them both. They both have a spoolie on the end also, which is really convenient. And let me just tell you guys a quick little story. I just got my eyebrows waxed about a week ago and I got home and I noticed that she missed a little bit of the hair on this eyebrow right here and I went with some eyebrow scissors, scissors and I trimmed my eyebrow hairs and I made it look worse so just a little FYI don't do your eyebrows at home unless you're a professional because you're gonna mess them up just like I did so now this eyebrow is such a pain in the ass to do even more so than it already was and this was my bad brow from the beginning and I messed it up even more Anyways, moving on, I'm just going to be taking my Salon Perfect pomade and I'm just going to be filling in the rest of my brows. My hair is a little bit darker, so I've been really loving doing this lately because I feel like it kind of just goes better for me to have a more dark, bold brow. Then I'm using the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Beige and I'm just going to go ahead and outline my brows per usual. I love doing this. It makes such a huge difference with the brows and this brush that I'm using is from Wet n Wild. It's just a flat shader brush that I love. Love. and then I just take my beauty sponge this one's from L'Oreal just to go ahead and blend out that concealer I'm also gonna go ahead and prime my lids I actually lost my NYX eyeshadow base so I'm just using the same concealer that I use to carve out my brows just all over my lid and then I went ahead of course blended that out and then I set it with my usual single shadow from wet n wild so starting with the Tartlet and Bloom palette, I'm picking up the soft brown shade and I'm just going to be applying that right into my crease using a big fluffy blending brush. And I've been loving this palette. It's such a great neutral palette. When I first got it, I didn't really have too many high expectations for it. The colors were just very basic to me, but now that I'm using it, I love it. So this look is super easy, by the way. It's basically just a couple matte shades in the crease and that's it. Then I'm going to use the two like taupey kind of mauve shades and I'm just going to take another blending brush this one's from wet n wild and i'm just going to be building that into my crease and just blending it out all over my lid this look is really all just matte shades in the crease it's super simple to do that's why i love it because it looks like very complicated but it's so easy And then I'm just blending out the edges per usual with the same brush that I was just using. I have a whole video on my favorite affordable makeup brushes if you guys want to check it out. I just did it, so check it out. Next, I'm going to be picking up the two creamy shades just to highlight my brow bone. This palette does have fallout. Um, the shadows are so pigmented that they're almost like really powdery when you apply a lot of it. So you can see I do have some fallout with the light shades, but it's really not a big deal because once I blend it out, everything looks very seamless and it's not a big deal in my opinion, but just an FYI. So then I'm just picking up some sticky tape and I'm going to be using the dark brown colors. Um, don't ask me why I mixed both, but that's what I do. And I'm just using an angled eyebrow brush just to go ahead and kind of do my eyeshadow as my winged liner I've been doing this for so long I love it because it's so like pretty on the eyes and it's a lot less harsh than traditional winged liner so I absolutely love doing this I think it's really perfect for every day because it's really soft um, and it doesn't look really like intense and dramatic so I'm gonna apply a few coats of this mascara from wet n wild the max volume plus because I am gonna be applying falsies I personally love applying falsies because the ones that I use are aren't super super dramatic so I think you can get away with wearing them every single day uh, today I'm using the salon perfect 614s a couple of my favorites are by kiss and salon perfect 615s are also really really beautiful so 
I'm sorry if you can hear outside. I'm in my dorm right now and I feel like there's so much noise going on. I apologize, but yeah, I'll leave my favorite everyday lashes in the description box if you guys want to check those out. So moving on to the face, I'm using the BH Studio Foundation Primer. You guys, this primer is literally an exact dupe for the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. I'm definitely going to be doing another dupes video very soon, but it is amazing. So then I use the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector just on the areas where I get super oily, which is definitely my forehead and right around my nose because um, I've been having super oily skin lately, so I've been using that. And then I'm using the LA Girl Pro Foundation. I actually mix two shades to get my perfect shade. I'm using the color Nude Beige and Fair. And I'm just going to be using my L'Oreal sponge to go ahead and blend that out. This foundation is absolutely amazing. The coverage is beautiful. It lasts all day. And it just looks really natural on the skin. So I've been obsessed with it. And then for my under eye, per usual, I'm using the Hard Candy Instant Eye Fix. I cannot do my makeup without using this stuff. I don't know why. I just love it. I have seen it at Walmart online. Definitely check it out if you have not already. It is just the best for underneath your eyes if you have puffiness it just reduces it and it feels so hydrating and cooling under there so it's my holy grail and then for my concealer I'm still using my Tarte Shape Tape I'm actually mixing two shades I'm mixing light and medium because my shade is always sold out and then every time they are back in stock it's after the fact that I already placed my order so that's why I'm mixing the two so I start off with the shade medium and I'm just using that and then I'll go over top of that with the light shade just to kind of balance everything out because I feel like the medium is just a little too dark and I don't really get that bright look so with the light it all works out perfect so again just using the same L'Oreal sponge I was just raving about this sponge in my favorite affordable makeup brushes and sponges video it is really so so good if you guys can get your hands on this you need to it's like I personally like it more than the beauty blender which is crazy so then I'm using my Laura Mercier secret brightening powder and I'm gonna actually use the same sponge just to go ahead and set under there and also on the areas where I applied the concealer I've been loving this powder lately it's really bright makes everything look super flawless I was kind of skeptical about it because I was like eh, this is another translucent powder but no it's actually really really good and beautiful on the face I love it And to go ahead and set the rest of my face, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder, which I love. So lightweight and beautiful on the face. I'm just using a large powder brush from Royal and Lang Nickel just to go ahead and set all the other areas where I have foundation and where I didn't put the concealer. Then for my under eyes, just to finish them up, I'm going to be using the Mauve Tone Color on a pencil brush from e.l.f. And I'm just going to smudge that in there just to kind of balance everything out. And I feel like this really just completes the look. I never ever skip this step you guys know that then I just went ahead and lined my waterline with a little black eyeliner I again don't do this every single day but I really like it I think smoky eyes in the winter is appropriate so this one's from Milani it's the liquid eyeliner pencil in the shade black absolutely love it so creamy and black um, and then I just use the same mascara from earlier just to coat my bottom lashes because you cannot forget those Now for the face, I'm taking first the Hoola by Benefit Bronzer. This is one of my all-time favorite high-end bronzers. It is so gorgeous on the skin. I love the shade of it. Um, it's just perfect. So I'm using this to give myself a pretty natural contoured look, nothing too crazy. Um, and I'm using an angled brush. This one is from the Up and Up brand from Target, which I absolutely love. And I actually just took the same Wet n Wild powder from earlier on a smaller brush just to kind of define my contour a little bit. Now I'm using the Maybelline Master Blush Palette. I just used this. This was my first time using it on camera, and I'm really, really impressed with this palette. It is so pigmented. Once you build it up, you can really, really see the color on your cheeks. It's just a really great everyday blush palette. I was really impressed so far, and I just used the two lightest shades in the palette. Now for highlighter, I'm using the Makeup Forever Highlighter. This is the Pro Fusion Highlighter, actually, in the shade Zero. Two, and I'm using a Morphe M501 brush. This is actually my first Morphe makeup brush that I purchased and I actually really like it. So I'm using this just to highlight per usual all the high points on my face and then I'm using my NYX lip liner in the shade Sugar Glass. Of course, I definitely need to get a new one. Actually, I just did, but I'm still using this old lip liner. And I'm just going to line and fill in my lips per usual. Really quick, I just want to mention that highlighter that I used has been my go-to. It is absolutely stunning, you guys. Oh, so good. 
Okay, so once I do that, I'm going in with my NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Push Up. And by the way, I know that some of the clips I had my acrylics on and the others I didn't. I had to film some of my close-up shots on two different occasions. So that's why um, in one clip I have nails on and the other I don't. So in case you're wondering, that is why. So the final thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and set my face with my NYX Matte Finish setting spray and that completes this look i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching i love you all and i'll see you very soon in my next video